nobody should be committing to anything that they haven't seen in real life this is how people get catfished hi so. guys and welcome back to my channel so today i bring you a response video to a lady called padita agu she's a nigerian actress it's about how she met and married a man for the first time so in this video what i really want to do is to highlight some of the red flags that i think are really important and something that can help others to avoid this kind of um, pitfall in any relationship so let's get right into it to begin with in her story she had a call from a friend who wasn't in a good place she then went to console this friend and when she went there was a certain man there but she didn't really take any notice of this man so after she helped her friend and then came back home um, she then received a phone call from her friend saying that I've got this, um, you know, really good friend who is interested in you. Padita said that her friend really pressured her and really just kept going on and on about giving her number to this man who wouldn't leave her alone. So she finally caved just so that her friend will, will leave her alone and she thought that when this man called, you know, she'd be able to maybe just tell the man to, to leave her alone. Um, even though the, the first time around she did tell him off and he went away, they reconnected at another time and that's when it all went wrong. My red flag number one here is succumbing to peer pressure. She shouldn't have given um, her number to this, to this guy if she didn't want to. And first of all, her friend shouldn't shouldn't have pressured her as well. So red flag number two, sorry, I'm going to be looking at my phone because I've got some points here. So red flag number two is that she committed to marrying this man before she even met him in real life. So they started talking over the phone. If he called her in the afternoon, they'd talk all night. They'd talk like all up to the evening. If he called in the evening, they'd talk all the way to the morning so she felt like she knew him she basically gave her word to to marry him and she was committed even before seeing this man now this is a big big red flag nobody should be committing to anything that they haven't seen in real life this is how people get catfished just talking to somebody doesn't mean that you know them for you to actually get to know somebody you need to be with them be around them and not just alone you need to be with other people as well you need to see how they treat other people you need to see how they interact with other people because at the end of the day the way they treat other people especially the people that they don't think very highly of the way they treat that person that's the same way they're going to treat you when you offend them it's so important to not assume that you know somebody because you've been talking to them for however long because talk is cheap and people can pretend people can be on their best behavior so it's so so important to not commit to anybody that you've not met anybody that you've not spent ample time with red flag number three is that she ignored her deal breakers now deal breakers are basically things that you want that are non-negotiables so for Padita when she finally met this man he lied about his age he looked a lot older and she basically wasn't attracted to him she just ignored all of this and I'm sure that there was there were other things that were eaten at her that she just basically ignored do not ignore your deal breakers because these are the things that are important to you and these are the things that are going to make you want to stay in the relationship you can compromise on certain things but make sure that they're not really fundamental things to your being deal breaker number four is to not keep your relationship a secret he convinced her that they should marry the first time they meet each other and also to keep it a secret because it's going to be like some kind of adventure and after they get married um, 
they can just go to her family and then not tell them about the marriage but tell them that they want to get married and honestly throughout this whole story it just seemed like this this guy just had all these bright ideas and this lady was just accepting all of them so she kept the whole thing a secret didn't tell anybody for one it could have been avoided if she had told her family told really close friends because these are all people who really cared about her um and they would have you know told her that no you're actually making a big mistake it's so important to let people know about your relationship obviously if the relationship is like very early uh, maybe it's about a few weeks old and maybe you're waiting for things to be more solid before you You tell somebody or introduce him to your friend or family fair enough, but never ever ever keep it a secret For too long. I told my dad about my now husband I think three weeks into dating I told my mom as well I wanted to know what they thought about him from the beginning. It was very serious because we knew that we wanted to get married so i got very serious very early on i wanted my parents to know i wanted them to source him out if there's some character traits that they've seen that might be a bit problematic and just maybe they'll be able to tell me something that i don't know maybe something that one auntie has told them because you never know people have skeletons in their closets and you need to tell people so you can find these things out if possible because that one person can pretend and tell you all the things that you need to hear but when other people know the people who care care about you they'll be able to tell you some some more tea that you need to know about them so you can make the right decision for yourself so never keep a relationship a secret if he wants to keep it a secret then you need to run because you never know he's got a side chick somewhere so you need to find these things out before you commit your whole entire life to a waste man you don't want to do that these are all the deal breakers that i saw from the beginning honestly when i watched the story i was so mad i was t <laughs> i was telling my husband you know i don't understand how a man could do that to another human being honestly if you go and you watch her video you will just be so sad to your core because he really messed up her life i'm just really glad that she's out of it um it seems like she's healed from all the bad experiences that she's had so i hope that we all learn from her experience and she was so brave to be able to share such a horrific ordeal and there's just one thing i want to say about this whole marriage thing marriage is such a big deal it could either make you or break you if you marry the wrong person your life will be hell i always said that i'd rather be single than be in an unhappy marriage don't rush to settle down because i think our generation we do rush to get married because it seems to be like a trend now everybody's getting married and also i think that a lot of women you know get really excited when a man proposes to them it's almost as though we feel like we've we've won something like you've won a prize but the thing is you are the prize you the woman are the prize the bible does not say that he who finds a man finds a good thing what does the bible say the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing so you are the prize so you shouldn't just give yourself to any man you have to make sure that whoever you're promising your life to is worth it and they will not only help you better your life but they will also grow with you and you know they'll be able to bring something to the table not to mess up your life and give you grief so don't have this feeling of just saying yes to anyone just because they want to marry you marriage is not all that it's cracked up to be if it's in the wrong situation and it's with the wrong person i think we have to approach marriage with a level of like fear not fear as in like you're so scared that you don't want to do it but fear in the sense that sis this can mess up my life i need to make sure that i get it right and that's the level of fear that we need to approach marriage with because it's not a joke so that's just my take on padita's story i just 
pray that you're able to also take something from it when you do watch it also i'm gonna put the link to the video in my de description box so you can go and watch it all for yourself because she's got like a whole series about it if you have anything else to add about marriage the pressures that we face in society then comment that below and if you want more of these kind of videos let me know and i will do that for you so thank you for watching and see you later